If you want to see a perfect example of what fear and right wing propaganda are capable of doing, watch this video. Tim, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about going off right now. Let me tell you something. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants your evil cult in this town. Right. And I'll tell you what. Right. Let me tell you what. I will do everything in my power to make sure that that does, does not happen. We don't want it. Because you are terrorists. Every one of you are terrorists. I don't care what you say. And I don't care what you think. You can smile at me. You can say whatever you want. But every Muslim is a terrorist. Period. Right now. Shut your mouth. Yes, I don't want to hear your mouth. Oh, please. I'm done with you. Everything that I will do, everything that I can do to keep you from doing what you're doing will happen. That will happen. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, so that was just the first guy. Before I give any commentary, I want you to just see how the ignorance compounds itself. Once one person starts with the ignorance, someone else catches it. It spreads like a virus. Watch this. We don't want this is my home. We don't want this spot tonight. We don't want to build that mosque over here. Okay. I'm here for one reason, one reason alone. Let me say something. Let me say something. Come on. Let me say something. This is not a convenient time to have this meeting. What is going on in the Middle East? And the people getting killed in France, and what this president is doing to this country, this is not a good time. Postpone this thing. Get it out. Get it out of the venue right now. No, we don't all. want this thing right now. No, they don't. We, we don't. don't. Want, we don't want no parts of this. This, this, this right now. Right now, what we what we looking at this is this is evil. Well, uh, Muslims that, is whatever. evil. Whatever. I say that we, that's what we we all okay. say. Muslims no, is evil. No, you are. We're evil. Right now. We're not going to have an argument match. We're not. We're not. We're not part of this. We're not a part of this. We're not. Okay, so. That's one of the clearest examples of what right wing propaganda is capable of doing. Um, it has instilled a level of xenophobia and fear of all things Islamic, all things um, Muslim, um, without any w without any regard to the fact that there has been more right wing conservative Christian violence in the United States since 9-11. Um, that the facts really don't matter. Right. But they have this deep seated hatred and, and passion and anger against all things Muslim to the point where they're ready to turn uh, the big guy at the beginning, said he's willing to do whatever it takes to stop him from building this mosque. Right. Um, and then and then, of course, you see how it compounded the ignorance compounded. And this other guy got up after the fact he was emboldened by his friend. His friend got up and spoke. And so now he has the kahunas to get up and, and speak. Um, and so he gets up and just declares what everyone you know it, it's funny people try to stop him from talking but they all clapped and they were agreeing with what he said so at least this guy has um he had the nerve to get up and say what everyone else was thinking so but that just shows you the depth of ignorance that has been uh seeded into many people who identify with the conservative ideology christian uh right-wing christian ideology but look at two things that he said. He said, it's not a convenient time. The last guy, it's not a convenient time. Um, and he thinks that all the first guy says, all of you are terrorists, all Muslims, no matter what, all Muslims are terrorists. The second guy said, all Muslims are evil. And what's going on in the world and what this president has done to the country. Pray tell, what has the, the president, what has President Obama done to this country except outperformed Ronald Reagan on all the economic factors that Republicans consider to be important? What has he done? Uh, 64 months of positive job growth, triple the stock market. But but that's besides the point. That's that's just an, another example of how reality, real statistics, real data is completely irrelevant to them. If it was relevant to them, then they would not be so fearful of all things Muslim, they would be equally as fearful, if not more fearful, of the right wing Christian terrorists that are domestic. The Dylan Roofs, the Timothy McVeigh, and now Robert Deere, the guy who shot up the Planned Parenthood over the Thanksgiving weekend. His motivation appears so far to be political, uh, believing that uh, believing in Carly Fiorina's um, lies about 
uh, the spare baby parts that were being sold for a profit, which has been just completely debunked over and over again. But it's the power and efficacy of right wing propaganda that emboldens people like this, people who are low information um, I, I, and I'm not to be insulting with the word ignorant, but it ignorant in the purest definition, which means they are uninformed. Not only are they uninformed, but they have been misinformed. They have been fed lies and propaganda, and now they've taken it too hard where now they're ready to become violent against all things Islamic, all things that's not Christian, all things that's not conservative. This is the result of 40 years of right wing propaganda. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just these are the sentiments of people. Many of the people in that room, they clapped, they applauded. So what these men are saying as absurd and repugnant and bigoted as they are to normal human beings, the people in that room who really consider themselves to be reasonable, they consider themselves to be rational, they consider themselves to be good people but they are buying into hate. They're buying into xenophobia. They're buying into Islamophobia, completely unfounded, irrational fear. If the fear was rational, they would fear domestic terrorists, but the fear is irrational and it's targeted and it's pointed and it's done so by the successful campaign of organizations like Fox News, by pundits like Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, and all of their cohort who have intentionally seeded hatred, racism, and bigotry for the last 40 years.